Assalamu alaikum. My beloved brothers and sisters, if you look at what Allah says in Surah Al-Ma'idah, when he speaks about shaitan's plan against mankind, he says something very interesting. The plan of shaitan includes to create enmity among you and at the same time to distract you from two things. One is the remembrance of Allah and two is your prayer. So if you want to know if shaitan is gaining the upper hand with you, you need to ask yourself, about the enemies that you have, the enmity that is created amongst us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the ability to distinguish between right and wrong. Similarly, if you want to know if shaitan is overcoming you or to what extent shaitan has actually managed to tackle you, you need to look at the two things, a dhikr and a salah, the remembrance of Allah. How often do you remember Allah? If you don't, shaitan is gaining the upper hand perhaps. And do you fulfill your five daily prayers? If you don't, then shaitan would be gaining the upper hand perhaps. So this is derived from Surah Al-Ma'idah where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala addresses the issue of intoxicants and gambling. And Allah says, we have prohibited it because it is from the handiwork and the abominations, the handiwork of the devil, the handiwork of shaitan. So Allah says, إِنَّمَا يُرِيدُ الشَّيْطَانُ أَنْ يُوْقِعَ بَيْنَكُمُ الْعَدَاوَةَ وَالْبَغْضَاءَ فِي الْخَمْرِ وَالْمَيْسِرِ وَيَصُدَّكُمْ عَنْ ذِكْرِ اللَّهِ وَعَنِ الصَّلَاةِ فَهَلْ أَنْتُمْ مُنْتَهُونَ Part of the plan of shaitan is that he wants to create enmity between you through intoxicants and gambling and so on. And what he wants to do is distract you from the remembrance of Allah completely and distract you from prayer. Allah says, will you not stop it? Will you not put an end to it? My brothers and sisters, many times we do things. We're occupied in watching movies. May Allah protect us. We're occupied with the internet, with WhatsApp, with whatever else it may be. And we don't realize we've just, be, be, we've just been distracted from the remembrance of Allah. Allah is nowhere in our equation. And secondly, the five daily prayers, they are nowhere in our equation. We feel lazy when it comes to the five daily prayers, but we feel so energized when it comes to doing something futile or even more energized when it comes to doing something prohibited. That energy is perhaps because shaitan is gaining the upper hand. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us. Remember, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in Surah Al-Mu'minun, رَبِّ أَعُوذُ بِكَ مِنْ هَمَزَاتِ الشَّيَاطِينَ وَأَعُوذُ بِكَ رَبِّ أَنْ يَحْضُرُونَ It's a dua that he asks Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to make and in turn all of us to make as well. I'd like to invite you to say this dua on a regular basis. O oh my Rabb, I seek your protection from the whispers of the shayateen and I seek your protection from them, even coming into my presence. Rabbi a'udhu bika min hamazati shayateen wa a'udhu bika rabbi an yahdurun. So this is a beautiful dua to be able to be protected from shaitan. And together with the dua, you must be conscious of the fact that you have asked Allah to protect you from shaitan, his whispers and him even coming into your presence. So in this way, I pray that we can understand or have a little gauge as to how much shaitan is affecting us in our lives. Once again, if you're distracted from prayer, perhaps shaitan is gaining the upper hand. And if you are distracted from the remembrance of Allah, the obedience of Allah means nothing to you, then perhaps shaitan is gaining the upper hand. And if you have enmity within you against one another, in that particular case, perhaps shaitan may be gaining the upper hand and creating enmity among believers, among brothers and sisters, among family members, among others. And yet, there was no reason for that to happen. May Allah protect us all. Aqulu qawli hadha wa sallallahu wa sallam wa baraka ala nabina Muhammad.